texture type that you want to fill in the white. We know that this white is, this type is already outlined and the white is transparent. We push that behind there, you can see that the white is transparent. So we'll just put this to the side. We want to leave it there as a checker. So you select your um, the objects that you want to have live paint fill. Then you go to the, um, it's probably going to default to the shape builder icon, but I've already selected the live paint icon, so that's the one that's in the queue. So go to live paint. Then you can scroll over it. You can see it's going to drop in. But what if you want to change your color first? You can go ahead and change the color. Let's go with a, a light blue color. And now you can just fill it in. You could even change it to a different color. Let's go to light blue. And go to like a lavender. And maybe go to an oranges. Let's give it a bright orange color. Then a red. That's it. Deselect it. And there you go. It's completely transparent. You got your solid color behind it. And that's it. It's under the, again, it defaults to the Shape Builder tool. You look for the Shape Builder tool, you click on it, hold it down, go to the Live Paint Bucket. And with the Live Paint Bucket, you can fill in any color you want at that point. And you can keep changing it. That's it.